What's up guys, my name is Danimal. I'm the trail boss here at Woodward West. Riding dirt jumps is one of the funnest things to do on a BMX bike, but one of the most important things about riding dirt jumps is fixing the damage that you leave behind. So today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to patch a dirt jump. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna find you wanna find a water source and the tools that you're gonna to wanna to use would be a flathead shovel and a rake. First thing you want to do is soak the, the affected area, the part that has the hole in it. Use your water to get it nice and wet. And then the second thing that I would do is soak the dirt that you're going to want to use to patch it. Now the dirt that I use is usually just anywhere around what you're fixing just that looks like good dirt, not too many rocks in it, not too many sticks or leaves, just pretty much dirt. Because if you have anything else in there, once it dries it's just going to fall apart. So once you get the, the affected area soaked and also the dirt you're going to use, then you can pick up your rake and start to rake out the dirt that you're going to use. And it kind of mixes the dry stuff underneath with the wet stuff on top and gets it to be the same consistency. Because when you fix a dirt jump, you want all the dirt that you use to be thoroughly wet. Because if it's dry, it's just going to fall apart after you, after you patch it. So. Um, then the next thing you want to do is chop up the affected area on the lip or landing, whatever you fix. Because if you don't chop it up, it'll be like throwing dirt on a flat surface. It's not going to stick, it's just going to slide right off. So you're going to want to chop it up, and after you chop it up, you want to soak it again. Because you don't want anything dry exposed, you want it to all be wet. So once it's all chopped up and wet, then you can go ahead and take a good scoop of the dirt that you mixed up with your rake and just toss it right on. Once you start tossing it on, you'll be able to see the high spots that have a little more dirt than is needed. And um, to, you could use that high spot and kind of slide your shovel over, over the patch to take off the excess. And the excess will fall right under your shovel, so you'll be able to just toss that wherever more dirt is needed. And then you could just keep going back to your dirt pile and filling in the spots that need dirt. If you need more, then same process, you just soak the dirt, make some more dirt. But pretty much, usually there's enough dirt. Um, a lot of the dirt that you use to patch something falls down to the bottom of the lip. So you can just go to the bottom of the lip and scrape up the dirt that's been falling and just throw it to wherever else needs the dirt. Once you have enough dirt on the patch or whatever you're fixing, you can kind of just slide the bottom of the shovel over it to kind of smoothen it out. Patching a dirt jump is can be a little bit easier because the general form of what you want is already there. You just want to kind of slide the shovel to make it match whatever's around it. And then um, once it's all smoothened out, you could kind of slide it with a little more pressure. You always want to be sliding the shovel. You don't want to just smack it without moving it because then the dirt might stick to the bottom of the shovel. So you want to keep sliding it, apply a little more pressure every time. And then, um, yeah, once it's all smooth, then you can move on to whatever you're fixing next. And say for like the top of a lip, you're gonna wanna pack the face of it first. Make sure there's enough dirt on top that when you pack it in that it'll match the rest of the lip. And then you wanna kinda pack the corner so that it doesn't fall apart when people ride it again. And uh, if anything ever dries out, while you're fixing it, just give it a little more water so that when you throw dirt on there, it'll stick to it. And then, um, yeah, just once it's all smoothened out, packed in a little bit, then just give it one more water. And once that water soaks in and has a chance to dry a bit, then once people ride it, it'll just ride right in and be back to normal. So, yeah, that's how you patch a dirt jump. Make sure you fix whatever you leave at trails. Thanks, guys.